this one. The diagram on the right shows a standard normal distribution graph. The probability represented by the shaded region is 0 0.3415, 5 the value of k. Okay, right. Now, uh, in this question, you are given the graph. And this is the graph of the standard normal distribution, the z-score graph. Okay. So you must know how to interpret the graph. They say the area of the shaded region is 0 0.3415. How do I know? They say the area, shaded area is 3415 because they say the probability is 3415, right? So the probability is 3415, so the shaded area is 3415. Find the value of k. Now this shaded area is bounded by two numbers. The two numbers they are k and zero. K and zero. Now if both numbers are not known, then I cannot I cannot do anything. The 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 luckily they give me the zero. Now I know that. I know that the probability less than 0 is 0 0.5. It means uh, this area here. It means this area here. It means this area here. Uh, including this one. All this here. Right? Less than, less than 0. All this. Less than 0 is 0 0.5 because 0 is at the center, less than 0 is half, greater than 0 is also half. So, knowing that the whole green area that I've shaded is 0 0.5, can you tell me what is the area that is less than k? The area that is less than k, the area that is less than k, I just use 0 0.5 minus the 0 0.3415. So the area less than k is the green color one uh, minus the shaded region. The green color including until the lower tail minus the shaded region, then I get 1585. 1585 is actually this area here. 1585 is actually this, this area here. And this area here. Right? So, show you. Ah, this one. So, 1585 is actually this green area here. So, using this probability, I can find the value of k. But before I proceed, you must bear in mind that the k is a negative number. So, probability less than k is probability greater than negative k. So, I look up this number from the table. This number is given the probability, find the z-score. So find the z-score, the z-score is 1001. But you have to add the negative sign yourself because k is here on the left hand side. So actually k is a negative number. Okay, any question? In Jia Yen. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, Li Ying, you read question number two. X is a continuous random variable that is normally distributed with a mean of 12 and a variance of 4. Find the z score if x equal to 14.2. 
P, uh, X larger than 11, smaller than 13.5. Okay. So, uh, they tell us there is a normal distribution. Normal distribution is X. But if you add the word standard in front, standard normal distribution, it means the Z. Okay, no? one more time. Huh? If they say normal distribution, they are referring to X. If they say standard normal distribution or the Z score and so on, then they are referring to Z distribution, the standard normal distribution. So now they say normal distribution. So I write down the notation for normal distribution. X is distributed normally with mean 12 variance form. Do I need to square this one? No need. Because this is already the variance. No need to square. If you put down the standard deviation, then you need to square. Okay, yeah? right. So now I want to find the Z score. I know the X score. This one is not difficult. You just use the conversion formula. Now what is the conversion formula? This is the conversion formula. Z equals to X minus mu divided by sigma. So I'm going to substitute in the Z. Sorry. I'm going to substitute in the X substitute here. 14.2. Here, 12. Here, are you going to substitute 4 inside? No. 4 is the variance. Here is the standard deviation. So how to change the variance to standard deviation? Square root. Huh? Square root. So I'm going to put square root of 4 here. Okay. So the z equals to 14.2 minus 12 divided by 2. Standard deviation. Huh? So it's 1.1 next we are going to find the probability now, to find the probability you have to change the x to z score okay change the z to x score so the z is okay not this one this one okay so we want to find the probability of x between 11 and 13.5. 11, I have to convert to the z score using the formula. 11 minus 12 divided by 2. 13.5, I have to change to the z score. 13.5 minus 12 divided by 2. So finally, I have probability of Z between negative 0 0.5 and positive 0 0.75. So this is a problem of given the Z score, find probability. So this problem you can use calculator. I prefer to use R. You, you may want to use P. It's up to you. So I use R. So if I use R, I use the smaller value minus the bigger value. So type inside the calculator. So the answer is 0 0.4648. Any questions? No teacher. No question. Then we go on to the Question number three. Can you read question number three? The diagram on the right shows the standard normal distribution graph. If P Z larger than M smaller than 0 0.35 equals to 0 0.5124, find P Z smaller than M. Okay. Now this question number three is the same as question number one you are given the probability at the center there. Now, normally, if you are given the probability at the center, 
Then the two sides, uh, you don't know. Then you cannot solve the problem. So the lucky thing is that when you are given the probability at the center, you see the, the one side is a known number, 0 0.35. If you are given the probability at the center, then at the side there, the number at the side there, one of the numbers is given, is 2. right? So they will not give you the area at the center where the number at the two sides you don't know. If number at two sides don't know, that means you have two unknowns. Quite difficult to solve. So they give you number, one number. Here they give you 0 0.35. In order to complete the question, I have to complete the probability here. 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 This one, right? I have to complete the probability here so that I can find the value of m. So I proceed by trying to find what is the probability, the green color here. Now this section is denoted by probability of z greater than 0 0.35. So I try to find the probability of z greater than 0 0.35. The probability of z greater than 0 0.35, I use the calculator. This is a problem where you are given the z score, find the probability. So I use the calculator, I type r, 0 0.35 so the answer is 3632 it means that this green area here is 0 0.3632 now if this is 0 0.3632 can you tell me what is the probability of z greater than m Probability of Z greater than M is this whole thing here. Greater than M, uh, this whole thing here. Including this, this part. Okay. So if that is the case, I add the two of them together here. These two add together. Then I try to find this, this part here. So the probability of Z less than M, which is this part here, is equals to 1 minus the probability of these two parts. So I use 1 minus the probability of the, the first part, which is given, and the probability of the second part here, which I have found. So I use 1 minus the two green part. I have the part that is left behind. This one. Now what is the name of this? The name of this is probability of z less than m and the value is 1244 so this is the case uh, uh, they want us to find the probability that's all no need to find the value of m if you want to find the value of m you have to make sure that you add a negative sign there because m is negative but here they ask find the probability of z less than m so this is the answer already Next question. Uh, next question is this one. Okay. Next question is this one, right? So, uh, Li Ying, can you read the last question?